everyone, welcome. Quick, go and grab a glass of water, a cup of tea, a coffee, as long as it doesn't take too long, or take me with you, because you're gonna to wanna to watch this one. Uh, meatballs, meatballs, and not just normal meatballs, loaded meatballs, and I'm gonna try something funny at the end, so make sure you stay tuned and see if I'm successful with that or not. So, uh, yeah, so meatballs, you can do pretty much anything with them, this is a real basic recipe that you can manipulate yourself, but I'll give you the groundwork to a really good meatball. Now, I'm using Mrs. Rogers' Cajun seasoning today. Just Hi, Margaret I... and Jono. Thank you for joining Hi, us. Guys. Well done. Uh, just because I really want to give it that kick, but you could use so many of their other seasonings, their herbs, their flavors, etc. So although I'm using Mrs. Rogers' Cajun seasoning today, uh, just, yeah choose whatever you want so uh yeah italian herbs obviously they'll go so nice mm. uh your your even just your, your simple beef seasoning would be the bomb in this so yeah guys you've got to do it um competition competition that's the other thing i've got to mention we are running a competition so you have to uh tell us what your favorite sauce is so what sauce doesn't have to be meatball orientated you just need to tell us what sauce do you always have in your fridge? Always, like it's getting low, so you put it on your shopping list because you've got to have more. So I like that that rooster hot sauce, whatever it's called. Oh yes. You know the one from the supermarket. The sriracha. Sauce. Sriracha, yeah, that's sriracha the word. Hot sriracha sauce. hot sauce. That's my favorite. We made some sriracha. We did. We, did. we, we should made do it again. Mrs. Rogers <gasps> sriracha. We should hot do that sauce. again. Now um, I feel like you making that because I wasn't very good at it. We should do that. So Ben wants me to make hot sauce. Hot sauce. I, I am, I must admit, I am, I've always got to have tomato and barbecue sauce in. Yep. But my favourite is, and I hate to brand drop here, Whitlock's tomato sauce. <gasps> there you go. That Good is. chunky one. That, yeah. Yeah. That is. Margaret likes tartare sauce, so a big fish lover. Oh, nice. Well so, yeah, do you use it on anything other than fish, or yeah. you just eat a lot of fish? Yeah. Or, or do you like, like spread it on your toast in the morning kind of thing? <laughs> mm, I love the tartar sauce. Tartar Nobody sauce. said chocolate sauce yet, so ah, we'll, uh, we'll see, how that goes. see if any sweet sauces yeah. come through. But anyway, that's a competition. So you have to comment, like, share, try and tag a few friends specifically who you think don't watch Mrs. Saucy Rogers. friends. Saucy friends. Tag oh. your saucy friends. Tag your saucy friends. So tag people who you think would, uh, number one, like to enter. Uh, number two, would actually appreciate what we do here. And well, we've got a, a tomato and barbecue sauce oh, lover yes. here. Yeah. Yes, nice. So anyway, on with the show. Well done, Mrs. Sinclair. Sorry. So I have got some beef mints here. Now you can use any mints you like. Beef mints is, you know, one of the cheapest ones. And I've got about 500 grams. This is actually, because we're doing a mince theme at the moment. So we did our burgers, our smash Janina burgers yesterday. Janina loves caramel sauce. I'm sure yeah, if I'm pronouncing caramel. your name wrong there. I'm just caramel. gonna say Miss Sinclair or Mrs. Sinclair. Salted caramel car sauce. Salted caramel sauce. Uh, to yeah, die sorry, anyway, back to the meat. Um, so the meat. meat. So I am using meat. a meat that has 20% uh, fat, at least. Around 18 to 20% is great. The reason for that is because uh, fat you gives need flavor? the fat. Well, fat gives flavor, but fat, we also need fat to combine. So this is not a meatball that's full of breadcrumbs, although you can substitute coconut flour, which I've got in this one, for breadcrumbs if you want but everybody knows how to do that. And it is in the recipe, so if you do wanna just put some breadcrumbs in there to bulk it out, by all means do. However, I'm using coconut flour. Um, but you need that fat, and you'll see how I work the meat uh, to get that nice consistency. Same applies to patties, rissoles, meatballs, anything where you want the meat to stick together. So, it's a binding agent. Yeah, it's kind of a binding agent. So instead of using a whole pile of breadcrumbs and, and eggs and flowers and things like that, you're just going to get the absolute best flavor of the meat possible. And you can mix, like the, the common, is it Swedish meatballs? It's Sweet, got veed, it? veal and pork and beef mince in a Swedish meatball. Yeah. So Thank uh, you for sharing, that's brilliant, well done. So anyway, let's get cooking. Now, as I said, these are loaded. So I'm actually gonna make the topping first, or get that started before I do the meatballs, because I can kind of do two in one. The way I've uh, done the recipe means that you do one first and one second, but 
I think yeah. you're pretty clever. Yeah, I can't fun. write the same I wouldn't be able to do this, but I'll watch you and learn. Okay, so I've preheated my fry pan and I've got all of my ingredients ready to go, really chopped up. But I mean, guys, you can chop and chuck in as you go as well. It's a little bit of oil Ooh. there just because my fry pan is really playing up Rice at the moment. Oil. Rice bran oil I'm using and I'm going to throw my onions in there. Oh good, and I have just got a nice crisp. I didn't want it to suddenly create a fire alarm situation. Just browning that off. So do remember that you can check out our YouTube page as well. The Mrs. Rogers yeah. YouTube page has all these video, all the videos we do on the live and a couple of extra ones. Um, available to look at so it makes it really really easy we, yeah. we actually watch a lot of YouTube and the kids watch a lot of YouTube on their TV because we have the Apple TV YouTube. But if you, you can you know that's probably the main thing we watch in the house to be honest so yeah. if you feel like settling back and watching these lives and learning and listening then yeah. do that absolutely so just look, look for Mrs. Rogers on YouTube or you'll find a link on our Facebook page or our website cool. okay so I've got my onions in there now I want to stress that you can use whatever vegetables you like. I just wanted to get a vegetable element in this. Um, and I'm also going to be really naughty and chuck some bacon in this. Bacon. Because we, um, although it's a little bit late, we are hoping to have this for lunch. So, I want to, I'm just wanting to... Dunch? Brown We're having it for dunch. So it's dunch. Not, it's not breakfast. It's not lunch. Afternoon dunch. tea. Yeah, basically. <laughs> so the beauty of this is it can either be a complete... Uh, meal like this can be one of your dinners or you could make up a really large batch and serve it on a platter with some toothpicks and people can just kind of oh. or some forks obviously because nice. it's loaded but you know you can it can be a share plate as well. well one of the things that people are doing these days are doing a whole lot of meal prep over the weekend so that you make it really really easy for yourself yeah. during the week so either for your friend and your family or for yourself Absolutely, and, and this is the stage, providing your meat hasn't been frozen before and you've bought it fresh from the supermarket or the butcher, uh, you could get it to meatball stage, even make the meatballs mm. and then freeze them so that they're ready to go. Yep. Uh, and that way you could probably even just pop them in the oven frozen, to be Marie honest. Marie really likes fried. creamy carbonara sauce. Yeah, mm. damn. You made a really nice creamy carbonara type sauce yeah, the other day with, with um, yep, I did. prawns and... Salami and, and salami and zucchini and, and stuff. It's really important to get that flavour. If you're finding your sauce, especially like a carbonara Flat. or something, doesn't have the flavour, you actually need to, to put in a little bit of bacon or a little bit of salami or something that's hmm. quite meaty, which helps with the flavour. Now we've got a bit of sizzle. Got some sizzle happening. Some sizzle. So you're caramelising the... So I'm just... Is that the right word? Caramelising? Um, cooking. Yep. You're cooking. I'm cooking it. Cooking it. All so right. I'm cooking those onions, onions and the bacon. bacon, and I'm just wanting to get it to a stage where it's sizzling. Now I am putting in mushrooms. Have you got mushroom for them? There's heaps of room. Oh good. Oh. Um, I'm also going to pop some zucchini in. Yum. So this is about bulking out the meatballs as well. I mean, if you look yeah. at that, the amount of vegetables that you put in there. And a little bit of bacon um, versus the amount of meat. They're pretty much on, well, maybe not on par, but definitely a yeah, 40% of it. Yeah, and this is a really good thing to do, um, especially if your vegetables are starting to go a bit floppy or your mushrooms have gone a little bit, you know how they get that water? Uh, perfect to cook it and bulk out your sauces. You could grate a carrot, which would bulk this out and really reduce it with the onions. Um, well, veggies are quite expensive at the moment, so it's, it's not a case of throwing them away. No, it's, it's utilising what you've got left. Yep. So you could simply just do uh, carrots and onion. And the good thing about the bacon is that pretty much all of the vegetables will somehow take that bacon flavour on. Yep. If you didn't want to use bacon or you want to keep a, a vegetarian option going, you can't use meatballs obviously, but you could use falafel balls or something like that. Uh, just have lots of vegetables in there and wilt it down to a almost a sauce yeah. which is really nice now i have also i am just for color because i'm all about color at the moment going to pop in some uh capsicum as well but i'm not just going to do it yet because i do want that to have a little bit of a crunch so i'm just going to let that uh do its thing sizzle away. sizzle away in there nicely so so the people who are joining us as well sorry just um yeah do let us know your favorite sauce because you could yeah. go into wind a large, uh, well, a prize pack from Mrs. Rogers. A Mrs. Rogers 
prize pack and we have had some pretty happy customers yes, lately we have. so uh, so anyway Sarah um, says yum thanks Sarah I agree smells good too yeah it meatballs. does meatballs meatballs thanks so, for sharing Margaret I have my meat I have beef and I'm going to pop in uh, about two teaspoons of Cajun seasoning the recipes in the body of the uh, post hello Mel I am going to put in a tablespoon of coconut flour. Now I'm all for the coconut flour at the moment. It's really low in carbs, but it's still really good to use as a bulking agent. Because we're putting in so many other flavors, you're actually not going to taste it. Uh, but it's really good just to, to help bulk out the meat, but uh, just to help bind it as well with the fat. Uh, garlic, because I love garlic. If you don't like garlic, leave it out. Just maybe put some really finely diced onion yeah. in there instead. Steal a bit from that. Some good old Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Some of that. Tony says she loves salted caramel, like you said before. Yeah, Agree. salted caramel. And Rednax yeah. loves the meatballs. Meatballs. So, now I salt. like salt, and so I'm going to put some so salt in. Squeaky I want around about... Two generous teaspoons of salt. There nice. we go. Straight into the lid. Straight of the, into the lid. There you go. So easy Makes it to nice use and easy. these medium grinders. Yep. And a good amount of pepper. Yes, if you don't, if you, I know we've got people who watch these lives all the time, but it is a thing. It actually legitimately makes it easier to get your yep. grind. Oh, so you know absolutely. how much you know, you're putting in there. It's ideal. Ideal. Now, I want to crack in the egg. Adjustable in grinders. There. Crack that egg. Well done. Good cracking. Look at that. Do you like that? Yes. So, mm, hands. I in. should have taken my rings off, but never mind. I have to clean them after. So, you just kind of want to make this kind of a look with your hands. What's the official chef term that you'd use for doing Squishing. that? Squishing. Squishing. This is squishing. Squishing. Right. Squishing. Yep. Tony says she's going to have to go grocery shopping <laughs> to get the ingredients for the meatballs. Yep. Yep, you are. Yep. Pretty much. And Sarah, come on, you need to choose one. She's going sweet and sour, sweet chili, aioli. Oh. Come on. What's your favourite if you were desert, desert Island sauce? Desert Island sauce, yeah. So yeah. you're only allowed to take one sauce, one album and one sauce. What album would it be and what sauce would it be? Mine would be the, the sriracha. 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 S sriracha. So you could put it on bark and it would still taste good. Yeah, yeah. You like put on, well, you can put that on everything. You put on wheat books if you wanted to. So, yes. Let me just pop some sriracha sauce on my bark and smash it down. <laughs> And then listen to. Um, oh, it's got to oh, be Electric Lady. It's got to be a Jimi Hendrix, yeah. yeah. All right, there you go. There you go. So you're squishing in the. So I'm squishing meat. it. And as you can see, as I'm squishing it, it's actually starting to bind quite nicely. Now, if you, you had. You can't even see what you've put in there. No, you can't. It's, it's like magic. Magic balls. Magic. Honestly, you can't even see it. No. Well, but the flavour. Yum. Yum. Joyce likes the cheese sauce. Loving, this is my first time with Mrs. Rogers. Well, oh. Joyce, welcome to the family. Welcome. Absolutely. Thank you very much for joining us. We're uh, do come back to us again. We're pleased. Share and like and do all the things that you need to do. Absolutely. And Sarah is going to listen to This Is War by 30 Seconds to Mars. Ooh, yeah. we'll put that on afterwards. Have a, we'll, we'll bash it. Have a, have a rock out to that. Right. I'm going to try and do this one handed, everybody, because I want to. Um Oh, you don't want to wash it. You still want to, well, you still I want to be squishing your, um, your um I'm also, because meatballs. I'm going to try and be clever, and if you guys are really? clever like me... It's very you, modest. You can do like that. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've got to give somebody. I've got to give myself props. Nobody does. You do. Well, I give you props. Oh, occasionally. Occasionally. That occasionally. Nice. That does look nice. You can tell we're like an old married couple. Yeah. Occasionally, I'll tell you, you're Occasionally, right. you're fantastic. <laughs> When you're asleep. When you're, when you're asleep and not snoring. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh we'll where's the wine when we need it? Right. So I'm just going to leave that there. Now, ideally, um, you can choose the size of your meatball. You can do like the whole like Italian. Yes. Yeah, so I was. Of, like, can I say something oh, about that? So yes, I, you may. I had a favourite restaurant. It's not around anymore. That did meatballs, and it was just a meatball restaurant. So when I travelled, I would go and have a whiskey like a, a scotch and a meatball, and they did single meatball servings, and they were glorious. Absolutely meatball. glorious. I'd sit there and feel like a real um, hipster. 
With my meatball and my whiskey. Your meatball and your lack of beard and stuff. Yeah. So ideally, if you want perfectly round meatballs, a good way to get them perfectly well, good. round. Good. Well, it's good at the moment, Very but good. you will see that it will flop. If you wanted to really impress I someone, what you need to do is drop this into um, sort of nearly boiling water, because oh. that will hold the shape. Uh, that's just a that's just a you know been there done that kind of thing. Or right. you can put it in the fridge for about ten minutes. I don't have 10 minutes to put it in the fridge, so you guys will just have to excuse the shape of my balls. It looks pretty good. But well, like it does say, it now, gonna, but as, lose as it its... cooks, yeah, it'll right. flatten. It will flatten. So we just want to make balls with our hands, and this is a good one for the kids to get into if they're not going to be grossed out about the whole raw meat kind of thing as I used to be when I was yeah, but you little. Can just get, get the kids involved who want to be involved, and the others yeah. will come along for the ride. Exactly. End of the day. Yep. Well, so, um, you want to make meatballs, and I like just, I don't know why I like slightly bigger than bite size. I like, I like because two you, bite No, you want meatballs. two bite, you want a two bite meatball. I like a two bite meatball. Well, plus, you, you're not necessarily getting too much crisp, like you're getting the crisp yeah. on the outside from but what you're doing at the moment, the but the moist meat in the middle. That's yep. exactly right. Yep. Now, if, if you wanted to use this recipe and change it up, what you need to get is some Mrs. Rogers ice block sticks. Yeah, make meat block. Me and make like cofters. Oh yeah, Tony so says um, favourite thing to roll the meatballs. So there you go, so Tony's kids love doing it. There you go. There you go. Perfect. We, Tony, you should make some cofters like Kirsty said. Yeah, the, make cofters. So what do you do? With the, to do oh, the... Hang on, let me show you again. So okay. just take a double meatball amount. Double meatball. And you just kind of want to press Coftering it in. It. To a oop, cofter shape. And then mush the part that's nice. coming apart. And then stick your stick, stick up, up in there. there. And then you've got like a meat And then you've got a, yeah, like a beef cofta as opposed to a lamb cofta. Nice. Well done. Yeah. Well, and it makes Tony, get, when, next time you make meatballs, pop back to the slide and pop up as a photo of the, of the meatballs you make. The meat or if you're going to go out and get the, um, gonna get the ingredients, that's what I'm trying to say, then pop it up sooner rather than later. Well done. Yeah, absolutely. Tony you... says she's going to give that a go as well. Yeah, so I, nice I love the other thing you can do too, um, especially for kids, is to uh, put your meat in the uh, freezer for ten minutes and then cut with cookie cutters uh, shapes. Really? Yeah. No I one know. does that. Who I does know. that? I know, but if your kids are fussy, but they love stars or butterflies, I've never seen that. Well, that's. I haven't been home when you're yeah. doing it. Yeah, that's, that's when cool Daddy idea. goes travelling. We do yeah, you make more butterfly fun stuff. meat <laughs> things. Wow, that's yeah. cool. Margaret, this is delicious. You should smell it. We often say that there should be smell a vision. Smell a vision. But the, the cool thing is, I mean, even though we're chatting our way through it and all, this is just the kind of thing you can just. It's real easy, isn't it? A little bit of prep with the cutting up. Oh, exactly. And this is going to make. And this is a the stage, meat. guys. If you if you get to the stage with your meatballs, this is the stage. You need to just freeze it like that. Or you can make your own meatballs and freeze it in servings uh, so that you've got, you know, four or five meatballs ready mm. to go. Yeah, smells good. Smells real good. So. Well done. Got to be honest, thought you were going to mix in the stuff that you've got up to the side. I know. In the meatball. Nah. I've got no idea what's going on. Mm -hmm. Sarah's got fussy kids, haven't we all? Sarah. Yeah. Make some of ours if you want. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, all of them? I don't know. No, they're pretty cool. Some of them are okay. Some of them are right. It is a good idea, yes. We've got our meatballs burbling away. Okay, so I'm trying to go fast here. Fast so do people who are joining us, please just pop in your favourite sauce uh, and share this video and you could win a Mrs. Rogers prize pack. We've been trying to give away more prizes than usual. So, so Kushula loves a rich tomato sauce full of yummy herbs. Yes. yes. Yeah, and she's loving the videos. Thank Actually, you. if you look back, I made an awesome tomato sauce, like to die for. Well, that'll be on YouTube. It will Kushla, be on YouTube. Kushla, I'll find the um, the video on the, YouTube and post sauces. it up. On sauces. We'll do our sriracha sauce, sriracha our tomato sauce, sauce Actually, our salted caramel sauce. Oh, Sarah's got six of her own, so you don't want another they free? don't need any no. more. Go for double digits? No. Okay. Six is a good effort. Well done. Yeah. How's the sanity going? <laughs> Mine would be non-existent. So, yeah. Well, um. So, Margaret's asking. I live on my own. Can I freeze them after cooking? Uh, yes, you could. 
you just have to be um, really careful in the process of thawing and make sure you heat them up really well to uh, a high temperature. Uh, but yes, that should be fine as long as your food hygiene and everything is up to scratch. You should have no problem with that, Margaret. No problem with freezing them. It's, yeah, it's more about just cooking, refreezing and things like that, isn't it? Yeah, so if you, you did from fresh, if you did it from fresh mints, cooked it and then chilled it down the fridge and then froze it? Is that the way to do it so you don't the so thing is, no, you actually need to chill it as quickly as you can, but you need to be aware of everything else that's around it. Yeah, right, yeah, that's the thing. So, yeah. that's, that's so you're not the heating thing. up the chicken so you're that's sitting there for the, the meal next to it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, I'm going to move this guy over right. here and try not to tip that over everywhere. That would be a good idea. Don't tip everything over everywhere. Because that wouldn't be very be good. Annoying. And now I'm, I'm hoping. We're going to have a look at these balls. Oh, look at those. Right. They are coming along. Now the idea is not to turn them too much because that's where I will lose my shape. Got to be careful. We're not making mints. Bronwyn loves sweet chili sauce and she is liked and shared. Thank oh, you Bronwyn, oh. you are a legend. Must have been, there's a sweet chili sauce, there seem like there's quite a few varieties now. Yeah, I, 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 I had one the other day. Was, coriander. Yeah, yeah. And, well, yeah one, one I had the other day was more like a not a sweet chilli sauce, it's like a sweet chilli goop. It wasn't very nice. Oh. I like the one with lots of stuff Obviously didn't get that in my house. No, it wasn't. I was out. I don't like sweet chilli goop. But they're looking really nice. And cooking so, through. Now, yeah. so who saw our photo yesterday of our Krispy Kreme donut that I made? It was very, very nice. Go and have a look in our feed um, if you haven't seen that. That is... Um, a little bit of a naughty treat. We made crisp. We got some. We got hold of some Krispy Kreme donuts. So they, I think they're open today. Um, big, massive shout out to everyone who's queued up the donuts today. Um, and uh, made a Krispy Kreme donut burger. Have a go. Kirsty, another Kirsty likes. Oh wait. Oh wait. Likes cheese sauce or red wine and tomato. Cheese sauce. Mm. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It might be something special coming up. Hold up. Hold wait up. Wait a minute. minute. And Tony says, was very yummy looking. Thanks, Tony. It is. It's starting to look very yummy. Now, it's guys, if, yummy if for some reason you try and bulk this out too much with breadcrumbs and it doesn't hold to, together, just mix it all together. Because then you've just got a bowl of tasty meat. Just. What do you mean? So if the, well, like if the, if, the if, balls don't start to stick yeah, together? Yeah, a lot of people go, oh, I tried to make yeah. meatballs and they didn't stick together. Yeah. You probably haven't mushed it enough, and no. as you saw, I don't mush it too long. No. Um, Marlene loves sweet chilli sauce. Thanks, Marlene. Kick to her taste buds. Boom. Yes, sweet chilli oh. doesn't give you a kick, does it? Well, it oh, does me. That's for you, yeah, actually. Sorry, sorry gonna Marlene. I was going to say, don't be rude. No, sorry. Mr. Hot Mouth. <laughs> Mr. Hot Mouth. I don't know. <laughs> If we weren't on camera, it might have been more insulting, but, um... <laughs> and you're the one who said, don't be rude. Marlene, you got my back here? No, because I said... No, because you're rude. No, she's going to agree with you. <laughs> oh, dear. This so, I'm now. just wanting to cook these through and get colour on the outside. And one beauty of doing it all in the same pan is that you get to spread the flavours. Spread the flavors those flavours around. Yeah, well, the, the sauce, uh, the lovely fatty type stuff is moving around the pan and getting all it beautiful. It is, getting all those flavours in there. That looks good. Right, now I am just going to pop this in. In with your capsicum. My capsicum. Yes, smell vision would be awesome, and it is rather nice, Tony. All right, so Montana is going for the straight Wattie's Tom sauce. Ah, see, I'm a Whitlock's girl. Yeah. <laughs> Tony's... Tony's going to go out and definitely buy the ingredients to make this because she keeps saying it's hung, she's hungry. So, yeah. Well, we're, we're kind of hoping we're not causing you extra trouble or dilemma <laughs> no. to go out of your way. Yeah. And, uh, make, some, make some meatballs. But, yes. It must have been my favourite meatball I've, that I've had ever was that one I was talking about before. And it was just a lovely the garlic, one. Yeah, the big one, garlic and tomato sauce. Like 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 a good not tomato sauce even Whitlock sauce. Like a proper homemade almost yeah. like an Italian. Italian the one. And Italian they put Italian yeah, and, then, and then just with yeah. Just, Did you have skitty with it? Um no, no they didn't. So it's just a meatball. Yeah, just a meatball. And I I I have heard through the restaurateurs that we know that um spag bowl 
is being removed from the good old spaghetti bolognese is being removed from a lot of restaurants um, menus because it's now considered a complete bastardization of spaghetti bolognese. Well, it is. So people are getting all because like, we're putting mm, meat in it and mm -hmm. stuff. Well, uh, I don't know. I, can't, I didn't get so far down the um, conversation that I learnt what proper spag bowl was. Well, maybe we try that. Well, remember when our son ordered spag bowl? Because I do make a mean spag bowl, but I make it one yeah. that the kids like. And we went out for lunch. Oh yeah, and it was holiday, mainly ordered, vegetable. We ordered yeah. spag bowl, and it wasn't. And I said to him. It's not, not going to be, be like, like mum. mummy, ma mummy no, makes. No. Uh, and it was a lot yeah. of tomato and a little flecks of it was veal just, or something. Or it just, yeah, it had like 10 pieces like that big Tiny of some kind pieces. of mince, a lot of garlic and just raw tomatoes pretty much. Yeah. It wasn't a very, it tasted fine. It tasted, we ate it. It's fine. Anyway. It wasn't anything like I make. No. So what are we doing now? So I've just put the lid on because... Um, it helps it cook quicker and helps it cook more thoroughly and... Does it keep the uh, moisture in as well? It and does keep, a little bit, yeah. but if you're making crunchy things, you can't really put the lid on because then oh, it makes it wet. Sorry, Alicia has just said, Alicia, Alicia, I love to make Mexican inspired sauce with tomatoes, oregano, paprika, coriander, garlic, blah, blah, blah. So she has put a recipe up there in oh. the chat. There you go. It's pretty much a recipe of for a Mexican inspired sauce. Yeah. Well done. Thank you for that, Alicia. Yeah. And Lana is back and loves the old sweet and sour. Tell you what, we've got we've got sweet and sour and Tom sauce uh, uh, leading the charge okay. at the moment with our favourite sauces. Nice. I'm going to vote for Tom sauce, but not classic Tom sauce like fancy pants Tom sauce. Fancy. There no, you like sriracha sauce. Oh yeah, I do. Okay, I'm going to have two votes. You're not allowed two votes. What really? You're not allowed any votes. I guess actually, I made up the but... rule, didn't I? Yeah. No, I'm not allowed. Any... No, I'm not. I'm not allowed to win. Apparently. No. That's what I mean, we should change the rule. <laughs> so I win. Okay, the balls are going okay. in there. I think these I don't are cooked. Think that would be fair. Um, they look pretty good. They look pretty good, and as you can um, they see, they smell pretty good too. They're uh, they're not. Well done. And we okay. Stick around, everybody. Don't go anywhere. Don't I know go we're placing anywhere. up, but you're I've, about to see something pretty cool. We hope. We maybe. Or we'll have an insurance claim. One or the One other. One or the other. Either the house is going to be burnt to the ground, or it will look really cool. We'll so, figure that out in yeah. a minute. It is looking good, Marlene. You're absolutely right. Yeah. Yeah, smoked barbecue hickory sauce. Boom. That is a good sauce. Well done. You win my vote, Alicia. I know it's a but random you prize no draw. But I've got no control over it. And it's it is random. a random draw, but everybody. If you were winning, that'd be me. Are we putting the vegetable balls on top? Well done. That's looking yummy. That's a that's a meal and a half, that one there. Well this is a this is our lunch. Shepherd. Dunch. Colourful. Well, yeah, Very we had a late colourful. breakfast, so. All right. Now, I'm going to try and do something. Here we go. Boom, boom. I'll probably end up just causing great issues. <laughs> oh, it's going to be fun, though. Okay, here we Normally go. Normally, Ben uses this kind of stuff, I not me. This. I'm not that silly. I use this for browning off food once it's cooked in the sous vide. Hardest thing is getting that on there the right way. Okay. Oh, well done. Gas. Oh, look at that. Fire in the kitchen! Well done. Now I don't know if you guys have seen like that melted cheese where they melt the cheese and then they they push it off. I'm going to try and do that everybody. But you're just going to melt the cheese straight on the fork. You're going to work. Ooh. On, I'm oh, do a Jesus! <laughs> There's a layer. There's also a burning torch pointed towards me. Well, stay away. <laughs> I don't want to point towards me, I haven't got enough hair as it is. <laughs> Sorry for that exclamation. I was just a bit concerned about the burning butane torch that was pointed at my chest all of a sudden. Um, Lori likes a good oh, tomato it. pasta sauce. Lana says it's looking like... Yeah, that, no, it's working. It's working. It, it's working. It's, it's working. Just, You're getting there. Um, Probably needs... You did it before on the block when you were practicing. I know. It is Cook cool. It until it's dripping. It, look, oh, that works. Look at that. That's better. And a bit of, bit of theatre. So what you do is you go and buy yourself a butane torch, and then dr this would get the kids wanting to eat dinner if you were doing this at the dinner table. That's better. That is works. That better? That's way better. That looks so cool. Cheesy, crispy and not meatballs too much fire. with not too much fire. There you go. That's awesome. Genuinely impressed. Yeah. Okay. Now, 
Oh, that's oh, right. Turn I've off. Got, to turn got to turn it off. off. There oh, we go. Well Hang done. on. I'm just going to. Susanna get... loves her mum's homemade roasted cherry tomatoes. Passata. Was that pasta or was passata a thing? Oh, I don't know. So, anyway, what do we think of that fish? That's going to be a little bit. Uh... <laughs> what cheese? That was just normal, tasty, wasn't it? Cheddar. Oh. It was a cheddar, oh, cheddar cheese. There you go. So, so anyway, let's guys, get on let's get a ball. Joyce, so it was just normal let's cheddar. Get ball. some cheese on that. I will. I will. I oh, I'm yeah. going to get a bit of everything yeah. if I can. Yeah. Hopefully not. So it looks very either. hearty. It looks like a hearty meal. Okay, don't burn your face off like you did burn me. Oh, that thing. food is really nice. <laughs> Jesus, good. <laughs> no problem, Marlene. Mm. Oh, yum. Mm. You could put a bit on my fork for me. Cameraman's mm. going to get. Otherwise, the cameraman misses out. Um, it what looks do you nice. mean your cameraman misses no, it out? No, he doesn't actually. He had a whole burger yesterday. Sharing is caring. Exactly, Marlene. You're not wrong. I'm so, guys, anyway, you don't have to right. have all the dramatics of the um cheese, I'm going to feed it to you. Ready? <laughs> but melted cheese on top is obviously just a great finishing oh, touch. I feel like the bacon mm. really comes through. In the f sorry, excuse me, everyone. Yeah, the bacon mm. does come through with the flavour. bacon comes through with the flavour. Really, mm. really nice. Very, and the smokiness nice. of the cheese is actually a really nice compliment mm. to the capsicum. Well done. Bitterness of the capsicum. So yeah, anyway guys, that is my uh, loaded meatballs. Loaded. Meatballs. Well done. So have fun with it. Try, uh, just, just, yeah, experiment. If you want to chuck some chilli in there, chuck chilli. Load hey, well, it I got up a bit of pepper there. That was a really nice bit of pepper. Really. Pepper or capsicum? Or no, it was pepper. Pepper. Pepper, pepper from the... Pepper from mark. the ball. Hmm. So yeah, if, if, if you want to put some chilli in there, put some chilli in there. If you uh, need some more Worcestershire or Worcestershire, I just like saying that. Uh, so yeah, have fun with it. But that's my basic recipe for um, a flavour that's okay for kids. And fun to make. Fun to make. So you can explore Melt on top the of cheese that. cheese or so with, or Yeah, with melted cheese. Crispy now, if, melted cheese. If you just had a really fine uh, cheese grater, you could just sprinkle cheese on top of that if yeah, you wanted Yeah, that would be cheese. boring. Or you could get out the butane torch and light it on fire. Well, exactly. Yeah. But if you wanted cheese and you don't have a butane torch because they don't sell it or whatever, or you can't get one or you're not allowed, you're not allowed. to play with fire. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, just Which I think we're going to have that cheese. discussion just quietly. And just melted cheese. is uh, be lovely. Just, it just finishes it off. So anyway, guys. Um, Alana's just asking, can you buy the, the grinders, I assume you're saying, but part, anywhere apart from the supermarket? No, it's a supermarket staple. It's a supermarket a thing. You, you goes, buy it with the product in it. Yep, buy it with the product in it. Uh, so, yeah, if you're And I'll tell you what, I'm just going to do... Since you asked, I'm just going to do a little bit of a thing. They're well made. Like, I'm, mm. I know we're the official, like, Mrs. Rogers oh. channel and stuff, but... I'll show you. I can tell you right now that the care and attention that the guys, that Mrs., guys and girls at Mrs. Rogers have gone yeah. to I'm to going choose to a product and show which you. is well made... like. The inside now John these grinders the are I reusable and they do have a year's warranty now the reason they it care. works so well is that is actually a piece of ceramic yeah that's why the grinders work really really well uh and they're not going to wear out like a silly ass plastic one no that piece that internal piece is ceramic and it's fully adjustable the glass looks lovely the, it and looks it, and nice a, and on a, this the is going this is going to sound silly but the thing's not covered in branding as well yeah. So although we Just have got that a little, little Mrs. Rogers signature on there. Yeah. It, so there is some Thanks uh, Joyce, you can add it to the shopping list well done. Yeah, they're just they are Tony, the they bottom. are a good they are a good quality. Like I say, they, they they legitimately have been chosen because of the fact that the guys and girls at Mrs. Rogers want to have them on their own yeah. tables and have them, have them for a long time. And then you just See? buy the refills and you're yeah. away. They look I mean you can go look, look at over, go over here. I have several. See? Go over here. Look at all the all them sitting there without Himalayan salt and the kiwi roast and the what's the other one the chili lime and the oh, pepper everything so yes there you go what oh having lunch and dinner without me it's okay sorry I was chatting about grinders thanks for watching mm. everyone have a lovely uh what day I don't even know what day it is Wednesday let's go with Wednesday cool Tara okay, needs some too the week. well done mm. sold thanks Marlene thanks everyone for commenting yep now the competition will competition. be drawn next Wednesday next Wednesday oh is it pinch the punch tomorrow? Yeah. Is first? Pinch the punch, everyone. Last day of summer, everybody. So mm. perfect meal for last day of summer. Well Shoe done. fly. Shoe fly, don't bother. Hopefully they go away too. Yes, well done. Thanks, anyway, everyone. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you guys. See you, Tony. Bye. Bye.